Hey everyone, it is the Honey Badger here. Upon unboxing the SB520, I was wondering if its premium feel and construction would reflect its sound properties as being high quality as well. I guess we'll find out by looking over this offering from SoundBot. The SB520 looks good and is the perfect form factor for an office desk. With its as mentioned premium feel and construction, it gets a few points from me off the bat as it feels like it would last the test of time. The brushed stainless steel exterior is as solid as I've ever felt on a Bluetooth speaker and looks awesome as well. As for the specs of the speaker, it has subwoofers at both ends with two 5 watt loudspeakers and two 50 millimeter drivers for both indoor and outdoor use. There is a built-in 3.5 millimeter audio line in jack if you want to directly connect to the speaker, or you can use the Bluetooth 4.0 for connecting as well. Powering the device is a 2,200 milliamp hour battery pack with up to 15 hours of playback. I didn't get quite that much time out of mine, but that will depend on the volume of the music you are listening to. Along the top, as you can see, we have the on off switch, which is actually really nice to see instead of a press and hold button. There also is the volume down and previous button combo, the play and pause button combo, and the next track and volume up button as well. There's the as mentioned audio jack, and there is a mini USB port for charging. Both cables are included and are really nice braided ones as well. A quality touch to match these speakers. Now, back to our first question. Does the SB520's design and construction match with high quality sound? Well, it's not bad, but some things are not as good as I would have hoped based on the rest of the device's high marks. SoundBot describes the subwoofer as clear and strong bass that you can feel the beat. They are correct about feeling the beat, but it ruins the sound signature of the rest of the music as it blows the bass levels way out of proportion. And with no foreseeable way to turn bass levels down, you'll be a little unpleased if you use the speaker for more than music, as Netflix and other non-musical audio like movies and TV shows sound like everyone has a voice like Chocolate Rain. Also, pushing the volume past about 75% volume starts to really destroy the quality. You'll want to keep things toned down into the mid-range. Now, not all is terrible if you only really want to listen to music like rap, hip hop, and maybe some drum and bass. This might be an all right offering for those types of music, but beyond that, there are other offerings that I've reviewed that would fit better. I'll link one up in the corner of this video now so you can check it out. Currently listed for $35 on Amazon, the SoundBot SB520 isn't going to burn a hole in your wallet, which is a good thing, but it might not be the perfect fit either. To see what others have had to say about the speaker or check out more info on it, I left you a link in the description. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more content in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see all of you in the next one.